Ju snakes came out of that house. Yeah, very big snakes. Ilikuwa na mamba zinatoka. Na zinatoka zikifika inje they die. So ilikuwa napata, na zilikuwa snakes za strange colors. Not snakes that with, this is a nyomezoea labda ya green. Ingine na kuanga black, no. Ilikuwa ni colors ya nyuezi imagine snake ya neza kuen that color. Welcome to Bed Palace Kenya, home of quality, affordable and luxurious beds. We have also diversified to classic sofas. Visit our showroom in Vindigwa, Kiambu Road, opposite Quickmart, as well as Roy Sambu Thika Road. Contact us on 0725-414-842. Bed Palace, the ultimate solution to insomnia. Hello guys, this is Mr. A lot more your senior Udaku reporter. And of course, a lot more is coming. I am coming to you live from NK Studios kama kawaida. Niko hapa kupiga story na jamaa ambaye yuko na story ambaye angependa kushare tujue mambo iko namna gani kisha kazi iendelee kawaida and as all of you know guys Nowadays tumeanza kufanya pia stories stories za golf stories za watu ambao wako na story maybe kitu wame experience kwa maisha uh, because this is the only platform where you get to share your story the way it is no editing no nothing right so kama unataka ku share story there is a number that is on your screen right now uh, you can call you can whatsapp you can send us an email kila kitu kiwe shwari kabisa and of course guys this episode is proudly sponsored by Tech Globe Tours and Travel this is Kenya's number one visa application company kama unataka kutembea kule Canada kule Paris ama any country that requires a visa Tech Globe has made it easy for you guys to acquire a visa within a short time kabisa mtu wangu all you need to do is to call the number that is on your screen ama utatembelea pale kwa ofisi uh, West Park Suits opposite Parklands Police Station second floor na kila kitu kinakuwa ni shwari ukifika pale waambie kio kwa amekutuma haraka haraka mzee au sio deals ni mingi hapo unasema aje ukisikia deals ni mingi pesa pia ni mingi <laughs> pesa pia ni mingi ukisikia shida ni pesa ni au ukisikia deals ni mingi unajua shida inakuwa ni DC yeah. so uweze maliza zile deals ah, okay <laughs> ukwaje bro niko fit sana kwa vizuri naam welcome to NK studios asante sana i know it's your first time here yeah kabisa eh una feel aje na feel poa eh Uh, kwa sababu mzee nimekutafuta sana mzee hawana <laughs> wala nita wendo unipati watu wananipata tu unajua mimi kama kome kome najua patikana nini <laughs> okay uko pole lakini niko fiti mm. nashukuru mazuri umetuletea yapi mzee uh, mazuri ni kwa Mungu anasaidia mm. uh, pia tunashukuru kwa kile ambacho Mungu anatuwezesha nacho mm. perfect you looked for me you can remember uko na story ungependa ku share na sisi i mean it's about time we need to dive in kwa your story tujue ni story ina gani kisha tuendelee kama kawaida si ndio ndio first of all ndio hapo kamera nikalia kwa kamera hapo tuambie unaitwa nani unatokea wapi na pengine unafanya nini kwa maisha naitwa Scott Amagona kutoka Mombasa ah mm. uh, ni, nilikuwa mwanafunzi wa media journalism and uh, media studies pale ya Nairobi Aviation nikamaliza so saa hii actually siko kwa profession nafanya niko na band tunafanya music mm. so far iko located thika mm. na. so we ni msanii yeah. na pia we ni journalist Yeah, ni journalist. Ulimaliza shule? Yeah. So when journalist by profession. By profession yeah. Unaweza pale kwa radio pigie habari kabisa. Kabisa. Unaweza kuja hapo unyang'anye position. Vizuri sana. <laughs> <laughs> A lot more na kuanga tu mmoja. Kabisa. Yes. Kazi safi. Tupe story mzee. Ah, uh, okay, nilizaliwa kule Malindi, coast uh, in Kilifi County. So hapo ndo nilikuwa. Uh, so mzazi wangu ambaye ni babangu ni askari alikuwa anafanya kazi Nairobi kwa police station moja hapa Nairobi so alikuwa anakuja nyumbani mara moja moja akirudi police station kazi gani? Kasarani police station babako alikuwa anafanya kazi ya, Kasarani alikuwa police station mm-hmm. so alikuwa anakuja nyumbani labda mara moja kwa mwaka mara nyingine akose kukuja 
mara nyingine akuja mara mbili kwa mwaka mm-hmm. so ile kitu ni kama ilikuwa inamsumbua pia ye, kwa sababu ile kukosa nafasi ya familia mm-hmm. so ikafika wakati akapoa transfer kwenda kisi police station akaenda akakaa kule peke yake kama miezi miwili alafu akapigia mamangu simu akamwambia sasa utaenda kwa shule za kina hao watoto uchukue transfer letters mkuje mkae na mimi kisi so kwa sisi ilikuwa furaha kwa sababu watu kwa tume tume experience safari ndefu ndefu mm. yeah, so tulikuwa tunafurahia sana kwenda huko na tukaenda ilifika siku tukaenda tukajiunga na shule zengine kule na maisha ikaendelea kuwa vizuri tukaendelea kuishi vizuri na familia so tulika kisi kwa muda wa miaka minne alafu babangu akapata tena transfer nyingine ya kwenda Mombasa Police Station moja inaitwa Mbarak Police Station ba? Mbarak Mbarak ya yeah. uh-huh. iko tu maeneo ya posta hapo Mombasa So alipopata ile, ile transfer alikuwa anakataa kwenda uh-huh. lakini ikabidi amekuja amekubali akasema acha tu niende pia ni karibu na nyumbani uh-huh. ah, so akatwambia tujitarishe sasa hiyo mimi nilikuwa naingia class 8 uh-huh. nilikuwa 7 naingia 8 hiyo ni mwaka gani mzee ilikuwa 2015 2015 January. Mm. 2015 ndio naingia class 8. Kwani wewe ni mdogo aje? Mimi ni mtoto. <laughs> Unaniona kama mimi 24. Is it making sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nilimaliza 2019. Ulimaliza from 4 to 19. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Naam, so 2015 I was in form 4 I think. Kwa na manza form 4. Unaweza ni advise. So <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh, ikabidi tumechukua transfer kutoka Kisi uh-huh. kwenda sasa shule za Mombasa. So ile siku tulikuwa tunaenda home juu in these four years atukua tumekanyaga home. Uh-huh. Tulikuwa tunakaa tu Kisi. So watu wa kule nyumbani walisikia ile furaha tunarudi nyumbani wakaenda home kututayarishia walichinja mbuzi wakatayarisha vyakula sherehe eh, sherehe jisa tumerudi. So tukafika pale tukakula zile machakula tulitoka Kisi sasa tukarudi tumefika pale tukakuleza machakula kila kitu sherehe tukafanya then inafika jioni watu wakaenda so mimi nikaingia kwa rumi yangu kulala kila mtu akiingia kwa rumi yake kulala so ilifika around saa saba na nusu i think usiku kuna ile unasema ngacha niende short call then yeah so nikaenda short call vizuri nikarudi kwa room so kurudi kwa room nilika kama 40 minutes sasa ile usingizi ndio imeanza kukuja vizuri mm. nikashtukia kisu imeruka kutoka juu a very sharp na actually ilikuja ikaingia kwa mattress mm. yeah peke yake yeah peke yake juju akukua na mtu mm-hmm. so nikaamka nikaangalia huko juu there was no one and i was like okay acha tu nilale maybe ilikuwa huko juu paka ikateleza ika so siku siku tilia shughuli kwaje ati huko kisu litoka wapi ile toka juu wapi kwa pa kwa roof okay yeah ile toka kwa roof ikakuja mpaka kwa mattress mm-hmm. so mimi nikaendelea tu kukaa kwa bed actually sikushtuka sana for the first incident mm-hmm. now after kama two hours mm-hmm. um, i just okay. saw like uh, two people walking in my room mm-hmm. dressed in white but you can't see the faces yeah wakaingia so nikaanza ku, ku shout ile ku scream nilivyo scream they disappeared and there was ah, is it nini so mimi si kwa ninachukulia serious hizo vitu naamka tu asubuhi naenda shule but nilikuwa na, na get worried sana nikiona imefika 5 inaingia usiku juu nilikuwa najua problems are coming again so naenda tena na lala unapata usiku unapata umelala ukiwa peke yako but unaamka uko na mtu Mtu and mbele. you don't see the person like you just see from legs paka hapa kwa shingo mm. eh uone mtu hapa kwa sura but uko na mikono hadi anaweza kushika asha kushika eh asha inishika wapi ana like ana kushika ni kama anataka tu mlale unaget mm. mm. so na shindwa unajua kuna venye unaweza kuwa na story yenye hata unashangaa ukiambia mtu atakuamini kweli so inabidi hiyo kitu ina happen but mimi na nakaa nayo tu ndani siambi mtu so ikafika siku nyingine nilikuwa nafaa kwenda shule na hakukuwa na mtu home so nikaambiwa niamke mapema nitayarishe lunch yangu ndo niende shule 
nikirudi nikuje ni kule instead nianze kupika nyumbani hakukuwa na mtu yote so nikaamka mapema nikatarisha lunch nikaeka kwa hotpot na nikaenda shule so kutoka lunch nilirudi home kama the hotpot is empty mm. na kuna sahani mbili zenye mtu amekulia hapo and they had the kids yeah how is that possible i was even worried kulikuwa na some two plates kumaanisha someone served the food apple portions na akakula and the hotpot was empty Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mimi in my mind I thought labda maybe my sibling amekuja mm-hmm. na siko anajua. So me I just went back to school. Kufika jioni wakakuja. So nikauliza eh mwenye alikuja akakula chakula changu nani? Everybody was saying me atasiko around by that time. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was a joke. Some some other day nika prepare food bado asubuhi na lunch time nikakuja nikapata this no food. Umepika vizuri. Umepika vizuri, ume, ume serve vizuri lakini unafika hapo. Kuna sahani zenye zilikuwa safi sasa hiyo ni chafu. Na kuna kijiko. Mm. na hot pot. Ben ukutaka kujua nani alizikula. For, for, for that second round I think nilianza kukua na ile mind something is wrong somewhere. Mm-hmm. So I faced my dad sasa. Nikamwambia eh kuna this and this is happening so akaniambia it's okay my, my dad is a police officer but akifika home pia na kuanga pasta pia na kuanga na preach preach yeah so after kumshow akasema okay acha tatafuta watu wa Mungu wakuje washughulikie hiyo kitu nikamwambia it's okay so the other time tulikuwa tumetumwa na anko yangu fulani kuna kazini yangu mkubwa yeah mwenye ana kuanga na drive so tulikuwa tumetumwa tao. Tukaenda town ilikuwa around 5:30 jioni. So kumaliza ile shughuli ya town, Malindi sasa tulikuwa tunafaa kurudi home. Kurudi home tulirudi around 9:30 9:45. Kufika kwa barabara like karibu na ile place tunakaa tuliona mtu amekaa kwa barabara. Amevaa nguo za black. So dereva alishtukia kama amepita naye. So we thought like maybe gari eh tumegonga mtu gari inafaa kwa but gari bado ilikuwa stable kwa barabara tukasimama kuangalia nyuma there is no one ukapata gari hakuna kitu imegonga hakuna kitu imegonga but there was a person up ulimwona ya yeah. yeah mimi nilimwona dereva pia alimwona mm. mm-hmm. so tulifika home ni kama sijui mtu nasikiaje and then cost kuna kuanga na ile design ya Okay hata kama mko na gas kuka, mko na jiko ya makaa lakini kuna kuanga na jiko ingine iko nje ya kuni. Hiyo mm. inakuanga nyumba nyingi sana za Mombasa. So kufika home hata sikuambia mzee hiyo kitu. Nilifika tu nikaambiwa sasa hata sisi tumeingia tu saa hii waenda kwa hiyo jiko ya nje, jugasi imeisha, upike ugali huko. Yeah. Nikasema it's okay. Mimi nikaenda nikapika huko. Sasa ile nimemaliza kupika na peleka sasa kwa nyumba. Niliacha watu wakiwa na watch news so naingia kwa nyumba nilisikia anaitwa from behind so nikaangalia kuangalia hakukuwa na mtu but nasikia voice voice kama ya nani ni voice unajua siko anajua siko recognize but ilikuwa ya msichana mm. ilikuwa na kwa voice ya kike so akaniambia kuja kidogo and I was like ni nani kuja mimi nikasema okay ngoja kidogo nikaingia ndani nikachukua torch mm. but namulika hivi sio ni kitu Mm. but bado anaongea anasema aje kuja at last akaniambia come twende mm. so mimi nikaingia ndani nikaita mam tukatoka nje si wote brother yangu mkubwa mam alafu na mimi so tulivotoka sisi wote sasa tukaona ni kama the something inaanza ku form some sort of a human being but we don't see the face again mm-hmm. so akasema kuja kuja so my mom akashout ile like ku, ku, kukemea pia alisikia kuja eh pia alisikia actually hiyo sound ilikuwa sasa inasikika na kila mtu sasa hizo dada kwa bi sasa dada kwa job okay mm. so akakuliza naam umesema umligonga mtu mm-hmm. mtu hakuna chakula inakuliwa mjue nani alikula hizi vitu ndio walikuwa na experience peke yako ama pia sibling uko na brothers and sisters yeah ni kuna brothers and sisters walikuwa na experience hizo vitu pia Uh, walikuwa na experience 
but I think uh, I did experience the most. Mm. When yeah. you're first born? No, I'm the second born. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mimi mi ndo ni kama nilikuwa na experience nyingi kualiko. Mm. Sasa nyingi ni mimi ndo So huyo aliposema kuja ma, mama kakemea tukona imevanish like mm. imepotea yuma. Tulirudi tukwa nyumba kuna mtu alikuwa anasikia nja. Tuliacha chakula na kila mtu akaenda kulala. Mkashiba. Ya yeah, tulishiba. <laughs> tulishiba juu. Sasa tulikuwa tunaelewa what is happening. So tukasema okay this thing is happening na kuna maybe friends who are pastors friends who are again i think we can waleta kwa nyumba so that we can see what to do so pastors walikuja there the, the following day mm-hmm. two pastors wakakuja they prayed and after they prayed that night was cool mm-hmm. but sasa the next night hapo kwa dirisha yangu you could hear someone walking in heels mm-hmm. but you don't see the person and walk in hills just around the house unasikia hizo ni high hills zinatembea lakini uoni nani anatembea unaweza hata kutoka nje but una, unasikia tu your sound hata ukiwa nje hata ukiwa nje lakini uoni nani anatembea so tukarudi tena kwa wale mapasta akasema eh ile siku mliomba ilikuwa sawa but sasa hii ni kama kuna hizi na hizi tunasikia mm-hmm. so they say they are vitu azishangi vowns mm. but so long as mnasema the first night ilikuwa cool mm. inamaanisha we helped something mm. so wacha to push on with prayer mm. so mimi nika nilikuwa tu bado naenda shule narudi so siku nyingine nikapatana na punda kwa, kwa kwa shamba yetu tulikuwa tumepanda mahindi mm. nikapita nikapatana na punda ilikuwa na haribu haribu mahindi so mimi nilikimbia kuitoa kwa shamba mm ilikuwa usiku saa mbili nimetoka night prep shule so nimekimbia kuitoa kwa shamba after nimechukua mti na igonga hivi hiyo punda ilikuwa and was like imeenda wapi na uliona punda huko niliona punda paka ilikuwa inakula kule hizo mahindi hapo mm. eh but ni kigonga hiyo punda ilikuwa bado uko from uko niko classic bado hizi vitu zote zina happen mwaka mmoja zina happen mwaka mmoja 2015 eh uh-huh. So eh hapo sasa ndo nilishtuka for the first time na nikaanza kukimbia mbio. Mm. So nikakimbia mbio mpaka home. So nikaulizwa ni nini ni nini? Actually mind yangu haikuwa hata ina position kuelezea what has happened. Mm. Nilienda tu bedroom nikajilaza kwanza ningoje kwanza nitulie. Mm. Nilivamka ndo nikawaelezea. Wakaniambia ah I think ni kama unafikiria sana umejaza vitu mengi kwa mind. Mm. So wewe unafa relax wache kufuatilia fatilia hizi vitu. Mm. Nikamwambia it's okay. So after kama one week hiyo incident ya punda dad ali come home off. So kukuja yeye amelala kwa kitanda sasa ile incident ya knife ikamhapenia yeye. Mm, ta- time yake kafika sasa. Eh ile ya kisu. Mm. Kisu pia naye karushwa kutoka juu ikamwangukia. Ulijuaje? Yeye sasa alituelezea. Mhm kisu ilirushwa ikamwangukia na hiki kisu after li, ilirusha ikamwangukia mhm mliona like ukashika ukapata nikisoma yeah, ili, ama ilivanish pia okay kisu an, zinatumika tu visu za home ni zile mnatumia zile kapo. tunatumia but sa, kitu atuelewi ni zinafika aje juu mpaka zinaanaliza uh-huh. wewe ulisema ilirusha kwa kitanda ka ingia kwa mattress yeah, ulichukua ukaipata ndio hii nilichukua nikaipata ndio hii hata nikairudisha kwa vyombo Okay. Mm, hata yeye alikuja akituelezea kama ameishika tu. Okay. Yeah, alikuja akatuelezea kama ameishika. So yeye yeah, pia kamwapenia. Ilivomwapenia ilikuwa around saa nane. Mm. Yeye yeah, akaamka akulala. Kamwambia eh hiyo ni ukweli na nilikuwa nawaambia mkadhani labda ni jokes. Mm-hmm. So akasema it's okay acha tutafute vile tunaweza help. Mm-hmm. And uh, alitafutana na the same pastors too. So they came and prayed. So that day they came and prayed sasa ndo ilikuwa the bad the bad day the snakes came out of that house mm. nyoka yeah very big snakes ilikuwa na namba zinatoka na zinatoka zikifika nje they die mhm so kila mtu alikuwa na anashangaa what is not happening here 
after sasa unamaliza wakasema now the moment we went to kisi uh, these unajua kule Mombasa kuna kwanga na beliefs za majini mm. yeah so they, they 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 used that house yenye ilikuwa haina mtu they made it their home mm. yeah so they were staying there so like kuatoa ilikuwa ngumu so ilikuwa napata na, na zilikuwa snacks za strange colors not snacks that with uh, this is any mezoea labda ya green ingine na kuanga black no ilikuwa ni colors zenye wezi imagine snake anaweza kwenda that color yeah so after hizi nyoka punda kugonga mtu kwa barabara kisu hmm. kuna nyingine hapana hakuna yeah. so zilikuja kuishaje sasa hizi vitu ah uh, so au mapastors walikuja kufanya prayers hmm. So hiyo siku walikuwa wamekuja kufanya prayers ndio walikuwa they, they were praying na unapata snakes are coming out of the house. Zinatoka nje mnajiona yeah, ni zinatoka nje na zikisha fika nje like kisha toka kuanzia kichwa mpaka kimalizia mkia mm. inakufa. Snake unaezishika hivyo same ndio. Yeah unaezishika no same ndio juu hata zilichomwa mm. zingine zikarushwa kwa choo ile shwa ya shimo. Yeah so walikuja wakafanya hizo prayers ilikuwa actually a full day of prayer ya yeah, walikuja kaka hapo the whole day wakiomba hizo masnakes zikakuja hapo zikikufa zilikuwa around 10 mm. eh yeah. na mshajua ni za nani atujejua atuje actually walituambia since the the problem is done now tuachane tu kufuatilia hiyo story mm. Mm. Where? so what came in your mind okay mi, unajua in mombasa actually hakuna kitu inaweza kam juu Mombasa ni kama home of hizo vitu. Mm. Mwaso wa mashetani hizo mani unaweza tembea usiku unapatana tu na mmoja. Mm. So ni kitu ukifika Mombasa ni kama ni kitu common of which au always blame like someone for for, for that jupia in happening anywhere. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like hizo ni devils mlikuwa mkunaona? Yeah, yeah. 100%. So you've witnessed devil wewe umeona shetani mkwe live. Wait na umewashia na mtu no this is the first time why, why why are you doing this interview uh just to 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 educate people na pia watu wajue uh hizi vitu happen mm-hmm. not only in movies mm-hmm. yeah movies ina kuanga real, real life stories mm-hmm. so ni kitu imehappenia mtu ndo akapata hiyo idea mm-hmm. ni vitu zina happening in real life mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Someone maybe is going through the same challenge. Mongereshe. Mm. Uh there is no situation that is permanent. So I would uh, advise you just uh, come out and speak out because kila kitu mtu anataka anga kuteka step ya ku speak out. Kama unaona bado your mind is still traumatized, unaweza tafuta counselor akaku guide through mpaka ukakuwa fit. Mm. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. Thank you so much for your time for taking time to share the story. Uh, I can imagine vile ulikuwa na sikio time. Ilikuwa yeah, vibaya sana. Na mtu after muligongo mtu na gari. Hakuna mtu alikufa kwa neighborhood? No. Hakuna. Eh. Hakuna. Na sahi dada kwa wapi? Dad sasa kwa Mombasa bado. Ni askari bado. Yeah. Mam, mama kwa home. Ni mtu wa beauty cosmetics hizo mama makeup. Siblings. Siblings kuna mmoja ako akothika. Mm na mwingine ako malindi na wako sawa kabisa ya yeah, wako sawa no more devils no more devils to coffee okay mm. sasa so, so, that is the story guys tell me what you think about hapo kwenye comment section uh, also let me know kama ume experience such a thing ama maybe your friend or relatives or experience or experience uh, maybe the same na yeye okay Thank you so much guys for watching. Mambo ni mengi, muda ni mchache. Na kama deals ziko mingi of course shida. This year I'm to Thank you so much guys for watching. For now it is a bye bye. I'll see you on the next one.